Oh no, it's not. No shovel? No problem. Meet Snowbutt, your frosty day hero. We are Red Robo Squad. My name is Ethan. I am Rayanj. I am Ramanathan. I am Vion. I'm Shania. Um, the robot that we made, um, what it does is that it cleans snow and we, and all the blocks are represented as snow and the um, red block in the middle um, starts the robot. It goes back and puts down shovel to get ready. After it goes forward, it goes to the edge, it will stop, go back. And then the go back works as like how much every time it took the clean snow to happen, it will go back, it will copy the same time to go back to its home position. After it goes back to its home position, it turns left. It goes negative, the yawn goes at negative 90 degrees, go forward, cleans the snow, detects the edge, comes back and does the same thing with the right angle. Now here's the pattern. It's going to start at home position, go forward, clean snow, come back at home position, turn left 90 degrees, go forward, clean snow, come back to home position, turn right 90 degrees, go forward and clean snow. This way it's not cleaning the same snow over and over again. All right, so Ethan, what was your favorite thing about working on the robot project? So my favorite thing working uh, on the, on the um, robot was the color sensor. And what I liked about the color sensor was like, um, the, color sen the robot could detect a color. And then after it detected the color, it would um, do something. So how did you come up with the idea for the snowbot? So one freezing morning, I was uh, helping my dad clean snow. And my fingers were basically icicles. That's when I thought, why not build a robot to do this job? And that's how Snowbot was born. I liked how the robot uh, detected the edge. Okay, why? I liked it because it was a hard task. It kept missing the edge. But once I understood how the light bounces back, boom, we made it work like a charm. So I love, like, I like flowcharts really much. They make coding really simple. It's like a map for your brain. Like, start here, go there, do this, do that, and, and no getting lost. Cleaning snow isn't easy, you know? You can't just go over the, the random lines. The robot has to follow a smart path or will keep on going over the same snow over and over again. You need a smart path like a maze or something. My favorite thing to do was uh, make some changes through the shovel to fit other stuff to make my make my code work. And so basically our robot wasn't turning wasn't turning um the same way every time with the rotation uh co rotation command. So it was it looked like it was kind of dizzy. So so I did some research to five and I found the gyro sensor and the gyro sensor that is built into the hub and then the I the yaw angle to help it, the robot turn exactly 90 degrees like uh, like and now it's like uh, a little robot pro solving one problem at a time right here on earth